Our team coverage rolls on now with Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones, who is live at Union Station for us this morning. And Marcy, trains were one of the suggested ways of trying to get around all of this, but what are things looking like there? We imagine it's going to get very busy. That's right. Good morning. Well, as you can imagine, this is a pretty fluid situation. This only happened just over 24 hours ago, and people are kind of figuring it out all together. However, we do know yesterday, Norwalk's mayor did encourage local employers to have everybody work from home while they figure it out. And if you do have to go in, use the trains, because that's a great mode of alternate transportation. You can see the board here. It says on time for all trains right now. This is just the beginning of what's expected to be a year-long process of getting that portion of I-95 back to normal, impacting an estimated 160,000 daily drivers. Officials are asking commuters to take alternate routes or modes of transportation as northbound and southbound lanes of that stretch of I-95 are closed until Monday. Back out here live, we did have some questions about officials saying that there were going to be added train services. Now, Metro North has a booth right here that's going to open in approximately four minutes. I'm planning on going to speaking to one of the representatives there to see what exactly they meant by that. But right now, we believe it means that they're adding cars to existing rail services. So there's no additional trains. There's not happening more frequently. They're just trying to accommodate for a higher number of passengers. As soon as we get any more information about that, we'll bring that to you. But for now, that's the latest. Reporting live in New Haven, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Marcy, thank you. And of course, stay with Channel 3 for the very latest on the 95 crash. We know there will be a lot of developments today. And throughout the weekend, we'll keep you updated with that new information here on the air and on the WFSB app. Hey, Scott.